Now we'll solve complete elliptic integral of the second kind. Now for the second kind, we can write this fks is integral from 0 to pi by 2 under root of 1 minus k square sin square theta d theta where the value of k will lie between 0 and 1. Now again, we we'll write this as fk and then this integral from 0 to pi by 2 1 minus k square sin square theta to the power 1 by 2 d theta and we'll write it in binomial expansion form. So we can write this as fk equals this integral from 0 to pi by 2 this summation m varies from 0 to infinite 1 by 2 cm minus 1 to the power m k to the power 2m into sin to the power 2m theta d theta and we can rewrite this as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite 1 by 2 cm minus 1 to the power m k to the power 2m and then this integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 2m theta d theta. Now we'll write this expression in terms of gamma function. Now first we'll simplify this which is 1 by 2 cm. Now this is factorial 1 by 2 upon factorial m and then factorial 1 by 2 minus m which is gamma 3 by 2 upon factorial m and this is gamma 3 by 2 minus m. Now we know that gamma n plus 1 is factorial n which is n into gamma n minus 1. So we can write this as 1 by 2 into gamma half and here it will be factorial m gamma 3 by 2 minus m. Now we will find value of this integral and for this again we will use beta function. Now we know that this integral from 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power 2 alpha minus 1 theta into sin 2 beta minus 1 theta d theta it will be equal to gamma alpha into gamma beta upon 2 alpha plus beta and here again we will put alpha is 1 by 2 and beta is m plus 1 by 2. So value of this integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 2m theta d theta it will be equal to gamma half into gamma m plus 1 by 2 upon 2 times gamma m plus 1 and gamma m plus 1 is simply factorial m. So we write this as gamma half into gamma m plus 1 by 2 upon 2 into factorial m. Now we will put the value of 1 by 2 cm and this integral pi by 2 sin to the bar m theta d theta. So now we can write this fk as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite and here this is 1 by 2 gamma half upon factorial m and then gamma 3 by 2 minus m into this minus 1 to the power m and then this gamma half gamma m plus 1 by 2 upon 2 into factorial m. Now we know that gamma half is under root pi. So this gamma half square will be simply pi. So we can write this as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite. Now this is pi and here we have 2 into 2 4 into 
factorial m square minus 1 to the power m and this is gamma n plus 1 by 2 and we'll write gamma 3 by 2 minus m is 1 by 2 minus m into gamma 1 by 2 minus m into k to the power 2m. Now we are going to use the same result which we have used for elliptic integral of first kind and which is gamma z into gamma 1 minus z it is equal to pi upon sine pi z. So we can write gamma half plus m into gamma half minus m it will be equal to pi and then here it will be sine m pi plus pi by 2. Now sin m pi plus pi by 2 is minus 1 to the power m. So from here we can write gamma 1 by 2 minus m is this pi upon minus 1 to the power m into gamma 1 by 2 plus m. Now we'll put it here. So now we can write this fk as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite pi by 4 into m square into now minus 1 to the power m and here we have 1 by 2 minus m and we can write gamma half minus m is pi upon minus 1 to the power m gamma 1 by 2 plus m and we also have gamma m plus 1 by 2 previously also will be this square into k to the power 2m. Now this pi and pi will cancel and minus 1 to the power 2m is 1. So we can write this f k as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite and here it will be gamma 1 by 2 plus m whole square into k to the power 2m upon 4 times factorial m square and this is 1 minus 2m by 2. So here it will be this 2. So basically this fk now is this summation m varies from 0 to infinite gamma half plus m whole square k to the power 2m upon 2 into 1 minus 2m into factorial m square. Now here again we will use result from gamma function and we know that gamma 1 by 2 plus m into 2 to the power m upon under root pi this is equal to double factorial 2m minus 1 where this double factorial is not factorial of factorial but it is product of all the odd numbers from 1 to 2m minus 1. So now we can write this f k as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite and here it will be this 2m minus 1 double factorial square into this under root pi square which is pi upon 2 into 1 minus 2m and then we can write this as 2 to the power m into factorial m square k to the power 2m. Now 2 to the power m into factorial m is basically 2 to the power m into 1 into 2 into 3 up to m which is 2 into 4 up to 2m and basically which is product of all the even numbers from 1 to 2m. So we can write this as double factorial of 2m. So now we can write this series as fk equals this summation m varies from 0 to infinite pi by 2 into and this is double factorial of 2m minus 1 upon double factorial of 2m 
whole square into k to the power 2m upon 1 minus 2m. Now basically we can write solution to this complete elliptic integral of the second kind which is this integral from 0 to pi by 2 under root of 1 minus k square sin square theta d theta is this summation m varies from 0 to infinite pi by 2 into this double factorial of 2m minus 1 upon double factorial of 2m whole square into k to the power 2m upon 1 minus 2m where the value of k should lie between 0 and 1. Now if we want we can write it in expanded form also. So in the expanded form we can write this complete integral of second kind as under root of 1 minus k square sin square theta d theta as now this is pi by 2. Now if we put k as 0 this is 1 k to the power 0 is 1 so it will be this 1 and then if we take m as 1 we will get this as factorial 1 which is 1 and here it is factorial 2 so it will be this 1 by 2 and then k square upon minus 1 so it will be this minus 1 by 2 square into k square. Now if we take m as 2 then it will be this minus and then this is double factorial 3 and double factorial 3 is 1 into 3 and here it is double factorial 4 which is 2 into 4 whole square and this is k to the power 4 upon now if we put m as 2 we will get this as minus 3 we have already taken this minus so it will be this 3 and this series will continue up to infinite. Now we will come back to the point from where we have started we know that perimeter of an ellipse it is given by 4a into this integral from 0 to pi by 2 into under root of 1 minus e square sin square theta d theta and once we know the result of elliptic integral of second kind then we can write this formula as 4a into this summation m varies from 0 to infinite pi by 2 into double factorial of 2m minus 1 upon double factorial of 2m whole square e to the power 2m upon 1 minus 2m and that is the formula for perimeter of an ellipse.